when we walk down the street mm. uh, and people see us and they see us holding hands or whatever, or they see it as a party or something, they just assume that we are this straight cis couple. Yes, and we went to a gay bar the other day and we were kind of like kissing and holding hands and I couldn't help but feel that people were judging us <laughs> and didn't feel that we were LGBT and I felt really weird about that too. I guess because of uh, the way people see you and the way people assume that trans people or queer people have a certain look uh -huh. uh, and that straight cis people have a certain look and that these things don't go with each other or you know it's, you don't move in between or something. It's such tired old crap isn't it really because trans people like the whole this is what trans looks like the whole point of that is to show that we are so buried, you know, like, you yeah. know, depending on when you start your transition and a whole bunch of genetic factors mm -hmm. and whether you take hormones or not or surgery or not or can afford it or not, you know, that's that's what it's all based on. Yeah. And I guess because we fall into these stereotypes of like what cis straight people look like. Uh, but it's just so annoying. I'm just so annoyed when people <laughs> I'm just I don't want to be presumed in that way. Not that being like straight and cis is like a bad thing of course sure. but i want people to be able to recognize that i am queer because it's a huge part of my identity and who i am part of the problem is also because people expect non-binary people to be androgynous in the way they express uh so that a non-binary person identifying in a very feminine way and presenting very feminine people sometimes don't see their identity as as valid in a way or vice versa like yeah. i do as well because i i present as quite masculine yeah. Although I was very androgynous before I transitioned, um, mm -hmm. were you? What, what were you like before? I was very. I was always trying to be very masculine, but failed miserably. So I guess I was always pretty. I guess I was always more feminine than androgynous, and I was sort of like a mix between androgynous, more leaning towards feminine. Uh huh. And then when I transitioned, I moved more and more towards the feminine side. Yeah, yeah. It was kind of the same for me. I kind of like was moving more towards the masculine side, and then I kind of <laughs> felt like. You know, I had to give up all female spaces, which I actually quite liked. Um, and then it's not like I really want to exist in all male spaces now. So, yeah, I think for non-binary people, it can feel quite ostracizing or quite, um, yeah, quite strange. And I suppose for people who aren't taking hormones or having surgeries, and there's no real end point, you know, there's no... And it can be tricky in society because of the way that they might still perceive you day in, day out. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know what the solution is. I think the solution is to change society. So it just feels like I'm being erased somehow because I fit into the stereotypes of how people supposed to look like. Or whatever. Yeah. So what's the answer? Like, do we get a big tattoo that has a unicorn on it? <laughs> I guess I have to cut my hair or something. I don't know. Cut your hair short. I could wear a dress. <laughs> <laughs> it just, yeah, it just sort of feels like you have to be forced to yeah. dress yourself clear so that people perceive you in that way, but that's not really how you want to express yourself. And it's frustrating that you have to do that. Yeah, it really is. Okay, so when we go out, it's really yeah. awkward to know like how to refer to you, because yeah. it's like, if I call you my partner, then it's like we're an old couple, and we've been like together <laughs> for years and years. <laughs> and if I call you my girlfriend, it's kind of not quite right, because yeah. you identify as non-binary, yeah. I, I identify as non-binary as well, so. Yeah. What do we do? <laughs> it so. just feels a bit awkward, I guess, because boyfriend, girlfriend sort of feels sort of juvenile as well, I think. Yeah, as in like, we're more serious than that. <laughs> we're going to take to the internet to try and find out what people say. I found a list, actually. Okay. The first one is girlfriend. So I'm assuming <laughs> this is a mixture of boyfriend and girlfriend. This yeah. is my girlfriend. Let's say we're at a party and uh, somebody I've just met is like, oh, so uh, who's, is Al your uh, girlfriend? And I'll, I go, no, 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 Al is my <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> it doesn't I, quite work. People wouldn't understand at all. You'd I have guess. to explain it. We kind of want something where you don't have to explain anything. But anyway, run through the list. Let's find out. Uh, uh, the next one is like boyfriend with a regular I, but when you say it, it doesn't you can't make like, a difference. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a boyfriend with a Y, like an I. <laughs> doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and then there is both friend. Both friend. I mean, for people who identify as both, that's probably fine. 
but a lot of non-binary people don't identify as both. That's yeah, not what this it's is about. this is true. And then you have boy girlfriend <laughs> just together. Boy girlfriend, girl boyfriend. Yeah, it sounds strange. And then you just have crap like cuddle buddy, which isn't a relationship term at all. This is my <laughs> cuddle buddy. How would you feel if I introduced you as my cuddle buddy? That'd be super weird. And then we have stuff like date and date friend and date mate, but that's like when you are dating someone. This is my date mate. Date mate sounds like. And then we have n by friend n by n n by n b n b friend n b friend. Queer, based on boyfriend and girlfriend. NB comes from non-binary, like NB. NB, yeah. NB friend. This is my NB friend. It just seems like you're a friend that's non-binary. <laughs> my mother, how she says, she never like refers to my, my partners as anything other than, is this your special friend? <laughs> Does anyone else get that? And then we also have Faye friend. Faye friend. Sounds a little bit camp to yeah. me. It just says queer due to the implications of Fae. Okay. I don't know what the implications of Fae are. <laughs> it doesn't quite work for us. No. And you have gender friend, which just sounds like you're this friend that teaches gender studies with me or something. I don't know. <laughs> this is my gender friend. And we just have like paramour, which is something that we already thought of. But the actual definition of paramour is when you are, for example, married to someone and then you have a lover. And then that person is your paramour. Right. But I love the name paramour. Because I wouldn't mind being a paramour until I found out that meant that you'd, that I'd be like your extra on the side to your like regular relationship. <laughs> Maybe I'm married. Who knows? Are you married? No. Then we just have like person friend, which is crappy, and then sweetie, sweetheart, significant other, which is like so dramatic. Uh, <laughs> this is my very significant other. <laughs> it's like they're more significant than I am. <laughs> And then you just have like person friends, soulmate. Soul. Oh, soulmate! I kind of like soulmate in a way because it implies like, you know, there's a lot of emphasis on that. It's quite... you, you can have a lot of soulmates though. In my in <laughs> and my I opinion, do. <laughs> like different types of soulmates, obviously. But... This is my lover and soulmate. That's quite nice. <laughs> steady, which just sounds like we're in high school. Yeah, or that it's, it's like we're in Mean Girls and we're going steady. Or that it's the fifties. <laughs> And we just have fiance. Are you are you, uh, are you asking? <laughs> no. <laughs> and we have horse rider. What is that? Oh, these are professions. Other... <laughs> <laughs> horse rider. <laughs> Sorry, I was skipping ahead. <laughs> then this is like spouse. Spouse. Betrothed. Betrothed. Sweetie. Sweetheart. Partner. Sugar bear. <laughs> Other half. Pudding. <laughs> <laughs> There's something from Star Trek called Imzadi. Imzadi. That's cool. Imzadi. So yeah, nothing really exists. And I feel that that language needs to move on. Like language needs to change and adjust so that we can, us non-binary people, can actually have terminology that is understood, accepted and widely used. Yeah. So, what are we going to do about this? I don't know. Yeah. We've been using partner for now, but it just makes it sound like this old cis couple. Like, this, no, like this old gay cis couple that's been like, finally got married after like 30 years of being in hiding about their relationship or something. Totally. We've also been using girlfriend and boyfriend and that doesn't really work <laughs> it's just, either. It's kind of tacky. I don't know what to call you, so we're going to have to call it quits, I think. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> it's over now. Has this happened to anyone else? Tell us. Tell us all. Tell us how we can move forward. Give us the solution. Please. <laughs> so my lovely Al is going to Berlin tomorrow. I you am. fly away. Yes, 6.40 in the morning. Blah. Looking forward to it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and then, um, and then I'm gonna join Al in four days' time in Berlin because, randomly enough, as the universe would have it, uh, I have work out there to do. So we're gonna have a little work play, a uh, few days, and then we're flying back to Brighton, and we're gonna do something very bizarre for three days that we yeah. can't talk about, that we will reveal all. And then after that is Trans Pride, so that's going to be amazing. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. 
Al, you can't be there. No, I have a previous engagement. Uh, it better be good. What it is, is it? good. It's uh, I'm a part of a, a board of IGLIO, which is International Youth Organization for Queer Youth. And I have a board meeting in Helsinki at the same time. Uh, and we didn't realize that, well, I didn't realize that it was transferred in Brighton at the same time when we booked it. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>